diary. And we made it to the end of 2018. In today's video, I will be naming my top five albums of 2018. Let me lay some ground rules down first though, okay? First and foremost, I, Ariel Nari, do not give a about numbers. Do not come to me talking about this album should have been on your list because it's been a hundred weeks on the billboard charts or it has over 900 million streams on Spotify. I'm gonna look at you like, okay, and? <laughs> rule number two, ain't no more rule, let's just do it. But hold up, let me go smack at y'all real quick. So you know I'm trying to establish a bond with you, right? I want you to, you know, go ahead, subscribe to my channel if you're feeling me. <laughs> And don't forget to hit that like button down below on this video. All right, here are my top five. Number five, Redemption by J-Rock. I wanted to put Redemption on this list because Redemption was the rap album I didn't know I needed this year. <laughs> Hip Hop DX has this cool video where they have a three lane theory for hip hop. Y'all should check it out. Anyway, so the theory is that there's three different types of hip hop. There is a pop lane, a hip hop lane, and then a hip hop lane, which is just like rapidy rap. What I liked about Redemption was that it was just rapidy rap and it delivered. And I feel like we haven't really had that flavor that much in the past two, three years, because everybody want to do like everything, which is great, I really love that. But sometimes, you just need a rapidy rap album. And that's what J-Rock gave us. Number four, Swimming by Mac Miller. Swimming was a phenomenal album. I love the themes that Mac Miller was touching on on this album. Very vulnerable and just very like intimate and I love music like that. For me, Swimming was one of those albums that I could lay down, turn off the lights, close my eyes, put in these earbuds and listen to it top to bottom, no skip. Also, I really loved how you could see Mac Miller's growth as an artist on Swimming. To me, in my opinion, Swimming was his best work to date and it's tragic that we won't see him grow even more. Number three, K.O.D. by J. Cole. K.O.D. was like the first mainstream release that started like just this onslaught of good music. <laughs> K.O.D. is on my list because of the concept. It's very well thought out and in my opinion, well executed. J. Cole went there with the topics he chose to talk about on K.O.D. You know, talking about mental health, addiction. A lot of rappers won't go there. I'm also a fan of a good comeback story. And you know, a lot of these haters in these streets was talking about, oh, J. Cole fell off, he's boring after For Your Eyes Only, but he came back, you know, out of the shadows with K.O.D. and proved them wrong. Number two, Astro World by Travis Scott. So remember in my album review for Astro World, how I was like, am I gonna be listening to this like that? Probably not. Y'all, I lied. <laughs> I listened to quite a few tracks off of Astro World, like heavy. <laughs> Astro World is just a whole dimension. Like I really love the sounds that he put together on this album. He got the bangers for sure. Y'all heard Sickle Mode. For me, Astro World is just fun to listen to and that's why it's on my list. <laughs> and the number one album of 2018 goes to Whack World by Tierra Whack. I know some of y'all are gonna be mad that I made Whack World number one, but let me tell you why I made it number one. 
Whack World is very distinctive. Like there's nothing else really out there that even remotely resembles it. For originality alone, Tierra Whack is light years beyond a lot of her peers. Also, the packaging of this album was immaculate. Like, it was a visual album. People don't do that too often, so when they do, it's definitely a treat. On top of the fact that she didn't do just regular run-of-the-mill visuals. Everything was fresh, it was new, it was exciting. Something you had never seen before. And for that, I give number one to Whack World by Tierra Whack. I could do honorable mentions, but if I'm being real, at this point, everybody feels like an honorable mention. <laughs> but if I did have to go with some honorable mentions, I would have to say one would be Sitting in Outer Space by Foots and Coles. Definitely check them out. It's a phenomenal project. Um, another honorable mention would be You Are Here by April and Vista. They're changing the game. Check them out. And then three, I would have to go with Since You're Watching by Matt McGee. Dope rapper, check him out. Well, that's it for me today. This was fun, right? <laughs> Y'all, I hope you had a great 2018. I hope everything's been good for you. I'm gonna send positive energy your way. I hope you receive nothing but blessings and abundance in 2019. And remember, I'm always rooting for you. <laughs> I'll see you the next time. Peace.